It will be a quick trip. You're going to see just how much is dripping about their rate that I told you, 40 pounds to a ton of forage. Again, this is blackstrap molasses. And this is one of the old tanks that we use to feed cattle. If you're going to see the arm on the front. So the only thing that we need to do is we adapted uh, PVC on the back. And then we may drip the amount that we want. Good. That is about how much you're gonna see dripping in your windrow. And then you can adjust the speed of the tractor if you want more or less. But it's not difficult to calibrate, it's, it will be a few runs. And if you get closer to the forge there, now you can go and take a look to see what is in it. So that is not really thick, you barely see the molasses on the top of the forge. It just quit. As I told you, it's a pretty simple procedure, but it takes another round of things that we need to do. Many times when you are doing the silage, you are in a hurry. So, but that is pretty much what we do. We run the thing, bail, put in the windrow, bail, and, and that's it. So the next step, I just would like to take a look. So we have done this different ways. We didn't have a sprayer in front of our baler like we have there. So the first run, we just spray the propionic acid in the whole thing with a boom a sprayer. And we cover the whole thing. Same rate, same everything, but it's much less efficient, right? You lose a lot because you are still spraying some on the ground. So with this, we bought this new equipment here that's pretty new for us because we are planning to do more propionic acid. And the system there that you see over there is about $1,400. And the propionic acid, if you use the rate about half percent, it will cost you about $10 a ton. So it's a significant cost, um, you know, for a ton of forage. But remember, you have the risk. If you have really good forage, you may not need it. But sometimes you get in a situation that you are bailing something that is three months old. And then you are running the risk to have the fungi, so on and so forth. So then, that's what about what it cost, and so Jeff will run the tractor and show us here, and he will bail few bales here, and then we'll bring to the machine and wrap over there. Thank you. 